board you see me assemble is a custom PCB made for this project. It was inspired by a project seen online. You can find all the information down below. We started to assemble by soldering the momentary switches on the PCB. It is really straightforward because everything is labeled on the board. Here is a custom plate for attaching the chuck with the shaft. You can easily find something similar online in machine shop or your local hardware store. It's very easy to make. The motor is held in place with a friction fit, a little bit of sanding and filing and the motor finds its place. We did some tests and the lathe worked great but it had some issues. Because of the big void inside the top piece, it flex and creates some vibration. We get back to the drawing board and we make some changes. not my favorite idea but the only way to fix the part is with epoxy glue. Use the best 24 hours glue you can find for the best results. the piece with a metal plate that you can find in any hardware store. Just cut it to size and drill some holes. All the assembly is straightforward and you can just refer to the CAD design. Like we mentioned earlier, everything is labeled on the PCB. All files and information are in the video description. One of our viewers had an excellent idea. The standard lead tools were great, but it created a lot of pressure on the top piece. So, it suggests us to put the Dremel instead. Sorry for the shaky footage, the flexible shaft was touching the camera stand and it made it vibrate.
really well, better than we thought. The stainless was just a proof of concept and a stress test for the late. I know, I know, it's not perfect, but hey, it's a working 3D printed late. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe to see our future projects with our new machine. See you soon!